Welcome to the Kids Virtual Craft. I'm Maria. I'm Lyra. And we are so excited you're here to craft with us. So today we're going to be creating hearts. Woohoo! <laughs> and we're going to use those hearts to fill up a window in our home, just like Lila and I have done at our house. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that, and then we're going to be sharing it using hashtag a world the of hearts. hearts. What is it, Lila? Hashtag, uh, hashtag a world of hearts. That's right. Hashtag a world of hearts. And we're going to share those photos below in the comments of you either working on your hearts or you creating your window full of hearts. And then if you've shared a photo, you can win a prize. So we're going to draw three prizes today at two o'clock. Okay. So Lila is going to go ahead and show us how to cut out a heart just using simple paper, scissors, and a pen. Yeah. I'm going to show you how you can go about making that into a frame heart. And then we've got some friends who are going to show you how to cut out hearts using the custom cutting system. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm going to teach you how to make a heart. First, fold a piece of paper in half. Next, draw this shape. Now grab some scissors and cut that shape out. Now I'm going to share with you how you can go ahead and take the heart that you just created with Lila and make a frame heart if you like. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your cardstock, fold it in half, and you're going to create a heart just like Lila just taught us. So you're taking your marker and you're making this hook shape. And then you're using your scissors and cutting it out exactly like she showed us. But the difference this time is that what you're going to do is you're going to take your heart that you've created and you're actually going to take your marker and you're going to draw a second heart on the inside. So it's still that half hook shape. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to go ahead and cut that out. And the cool thing about this is when we open it up and reveal it, you are going to have a heart plus a frame heart, which is super fun. And you can even go a step further and cut out another one if you like. I'll show you how. The exact same steps. So it just multiplies so that one heart just became three hearts and you can go ahead and adhere that all over your windows to share some love with your neighborhood. Hi y'all, this is Karen Cornell from Milton, Georgia. I'm here with my daughters doing an afternoon craft with them, taking a break from digital schooling. Um, we have here, we've got our gemstone patterns and the custom cutting system. Um, I just used paper from my stash, just leftover sheets here and there from the paper packs. And some I pulled from paper buffets that I had leftover from previous paper buffets. So we're going to make some hearts and we're posting them on our window to spread some cheer. So here is Ashley. We're going to do a, a, a double heart, right, Ashley? Yeah. Okay, so here she is. And Ashley is age six. 
So what I do for her is I hold the mat down and she holds the frame too, and we do it together. So we're gonna cut it together all the way around. Keep going. Keep going. Doing great. I wanna switch my hand. Okay, switch your hand. And go around. Oh, we missed a spot. Hold on, hold on. We have to go back. Hold on, let go. Yep, you see it, Madison? Yeah. Don't get your fingers down there because that's a blade down there. Hold on, Ashley, I can't see. There we go. Okay, ready? Put your hand back on there. Okay, let go. Let me get this spot out here. Okay, and then we're going to use the red blade, not move the, the frame. And here, are you ready to do the inside now? Here we go. Yeah. And we're going to get two hearts. I want you to do it. Oh, you try it. Okay. Ready? Are you... We're doing it together. Yes, we're playing then. It's okay. It's okay that people moved. Okay, hold on. And then switch your hands. Ready? Mm -hmm. There you go. And lift it up. And what do you have? Two custom oh. thing. Two. Two hearts. Oh, it didn't cut. Be careful. Normally we would use scissors, but I don't have the. Oh, you just. Come on. But we'll tape it on the window. We can tape it, yeah. Yeah, because we're taping it on the window. Well, we didn't do so good on that one. It's okay. Oh, well. Well, we never it's make okay. mistakes in art. We never we make mistakes in art. Okay, yeah, we're creating memories. That's right. We are creating memories. Are you ready, Madison? I don't even know what to say. Madison is age four, aren't you four? What? Oh, tell them your name. Uh, How old are you? Four. And is that the best age ever? Yes. Okay. Are you ready and, to cut? And I'm, I'm, I like green. You like green. That's why you picked the green blade and the green paper? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Hold your fingers down. Hold your paper. There you go. You ready? And you want to do the, hold this? No. Hold the mat. Hold this part for me. You hold that. You got it? I'm letting her hold it, and I'm still holding it. Madison does better with the trimmer, I will say. Put it. And the border maker system. She loves the border maker. Oh, she can tape it. Okay, Madison, here you go. And go put that up there. I will tape it. Okay. I'm not so this is just a fun craft to do with your kids. It's very easy. Can someone get a piece of tape for me? And they, can you say, um, do you like doing this, girl? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Do you like this? Yeah. Yeah? Are you having fun? Yes. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this with your kids. Can I get down here because it's sticking up? It's not. I hope you enjoy this time. And we're having a crazy great time. Thanks. <laughs>